Today, my administration is announcing new steps to dramatically expand access to mental health care in America. Our plans would require health insurance plans to identify the gaps in the mental health care that they provide. For example, they need to measure how many mental health providers are in their network, how much they are paying these providers, how difficult it is for someone to join their network, how often doctors have to get the so-called prior authorization before they can treat a patient. Some of you have dealt with this more than once. You get referrals to see mental health specialists, but when you make the appointment, they say, I can't see you until your doctor submits the paperwork and gets special permission from the insurance company. Give me a break. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It really is. It's ridiculous. It prevents people from getting the care they need. Now insurance companies, now insurance are going to have to measure how often they require prior authorization and how often they deny those requests. Right now, many health plans don't collect data. Under my administration's new plan, they would be required to collect that data. Yeah. And under the existing law, when facts reveal that mental health care is not being treated on par with physical health care, they'd be required by law to fix it. Fix it, fix it, fix it. And here's something else we're announcing today. When, men, when the Mental Health Parity Act was passed 15 years ago, there was a loophole. Health plans that are offered to state and local government employees did not have to comply with the Mental Health Parity Act. More than 200 health plans nationwide were left out. Now we're making it clear, they have to follow the law as well. They must follow the law as well. <laughs> 